more for it. How often do you get asked for your email address or postcard? Uh, whenever I go into a store. So, so all the time. All the time. <laughs> Black ones above the pink. It's become part of the shopping experience. You pick, purchase, and then hand over personal information. Can I please get your email and postal code? Yeah, absolutely every company and every retailer has gotten into this big game of uh, trading information. Stores use this info for marketing purposes, but something that sounds so simple can quickly become sinister if it falls into the wrong hands. It's still kind of risky sometimes. Just think about it. If you pay with plastic, then hand over your postal code, the cashier now has your name, account information, and address. That's terrifying. Well, the issue is how much of a rich profile can anyone build on you? That information, if it's not secured properly, if they don't have internal controls, any staff member can turn around and resell that. But it's not only shopping where you should remain vigilant. Your biggest risk still lies with your wallet and what you keep in it should it be stolen. Okay, so the average person, you know what, leave the SIM card at home, leave the passport at home. Absolutely, and leave them under lock and key. Don't just leave them on your desk. Do you keep your SIM number? No, no, I don't, because you could lose that, and then somebody could take your identity, and that's not right. What about you? What do you keep in your wallet? I just keep the necessities, like the same thing as her, just my cards. I don't even keep cash anymore. I just keep all my cards. I would say carry one credit card. Carry your, obviously, your driver's license, which is a piece of ID with a photograph, so that counts as a, a, a valid identifier for you. Your business cards, your money, and that's it. As for handing over your email address or postal code at a checkout, it is optional. So if you're worried, just say no thanks.